Hey, you're there? Well, so, what do you think is going to happen today? Fun? Of course. It's my sessions. Fun will be there, right? I have this vessel. I have these blue balls. They're going inside. Some more blue balls. They're also inside. And you are scientists. So you are going to observe, observe the movement of these blue balls right now. Do you observe that they're moving and rather quite freely? Yes, it's a free movement that's happening. They're enjoying their movement. In fact, it's, it's easy for me to move them, the blue balls. Correct? Observed, noted. Now, I'll close my eyes. I'll try to grab the maximum number of balls that I, that I can grab. Well, so let's try it out. I've closed my eyes. Let's see how many I can. Maximum, I think I can grab four here. I've grabbed four balls. Fine. How much ever I try, I'll grab these blue balls only because in this system, in this vessel, in this vessel, right? Only blue balls are there. Convinced? Yes. Observed. Now, what I'm doing is adding some red balls. Next. Now, observe once more. I'll try to move the blue balls and check the movement. Do you find any difference here? Difference of the movement of the blue balls? Sorry, one went off. Yes. Do you find any move, any, any difference compared to the first case? Of course there is. I can't move the balls, the blue balls rather, freely. It's hindered because the red balls are over here. Logical? Logical? Yes. Now again, I'll try. I'll just mix it. I'll close my eyes. I'll try to grab four balls and try to grab the blue balls rather. Let's see if I'm successful. No. Three blue balls and one red. Once more. Mix, mix. I've closed my eyes. I'm not cheating. Yes. I'll try to grab the blue balls. Two red, two blue. So what do you observe? What do you understand from this? Once more. Once more. Here. How much ever I try, I'll just get the blue balls, right? And the movement is quite free, quite random. They can freely move because there is no hindrance right now. But here, in this case, the hindrance is there. And when I'm grabbing, I can grab four balls only, but the number of blue balls that I can grab got reduced in the second case. Convinced? Convinced? Well, now, I have, again, an egg. Well, today I'm not going to break it. Let's see what happens. I have another egg. Observe. Again, you're a scientist. You're going to, up oh, you know what? I can feel the yolk moving. <laughs> wow, it's nice. Well, so you're a scientist. You are definitely going to observe. Observe these two eggs. This one, this one, and this one. Well, from here, what I can see and what I can understand, it looks the same. It's dipped in some liquid. It's a transparent liquid that I can see. It's dipped there. Fine? Well, I think I, you can figure out. I think you can, you have figured out rather. But since I'm asking this type of a question, it will not be a straightforward answer. There's something hidden here. Correct? Wait for it. Wait for it. So you understand, today's session is going to be interesting once more. So, well, I am Pushpendu and I welcome you again to Buy Juice and we are discussing about transport in plants. Okay, we are discussing about transport in plants. Have you revised whatever we have studied so far? Yes, because you know what? Whatever you have studied in the previous session and what you just saw with the experiment with the balls. Okay, that is something which you are going to utilize and use not only in biology, but it's a concept which you will use. It will be fruitful for you to understand that concept because you are going to use it everywhere. If you are in science, whether it's biology, whether it's chemistry, whether it's physics, the concept that I'm going to teach you today, you will require it everywhere. It's about the molecules. It's about the movement based on the molecules. Yeah. So let's understand today's concept.